the mighty, mighty UCLA Bruins. Now, Chip Kelly, heading into his fifth season here. They went 8-4 and four last year. Projected, uh, not projected, excuse me, post-game win expectancy. Actually had them closer to nine wins and only three losses. So, you know, you look at some of these things like penalties per game. They were number 102. Um, and turnover, turnover margin was pretty good last year for DTR in that offense. Regardless, uh, let's let's look at this. Their win total sits at 8.5, uh, juice the same to go over and under. They were projected favorites in 11 games. That's not bad. I mean, really not bad. Um, are the odds there that they will win all of those 11 games? Probably not. They've got five toss-ups. That's games that will be within one score. <sighs> let's look at this offense here. Number one points per game offense in the Pac-12 last year, 36.5. DTR is back at quarterback. Charbonnet is back at running back. The offensive line has plenty of depth. The question here, of course, wide receiver and tight ends. What is the development process like? What are they going to do this season? Do they have enough of it? Team was number 23 with 88 drives inside the 40 last year, but number 57 with only 3.94 points scored per opportunity. Uh... They were number 32 in red zone conversions. I mean, they were 44 out of 50 in that spot, but they were only number 50 in red zone trips. So what what that tells me here, if you're number 50 in red zone trips, but you're number 23 in drives inside the 40, you got 88 drives that you made it inside the opponent's 40-yard line, and you've only got 50 trips inside the 20. That means that, let's see, 28 times, 38 times, 38 different times you made it inside the opponent's 40-yard line and you didn't get inside the 20. That's crazy to me. It seems like they need to be able to finish some drives. That's all I'm saying. Like, once you get into the red zone, yeah, that's one thing. But you got to improve that this year for sure. Uh, The rushing success was great. The passing success left something to be wanting for sure, number 35. But they, you know, they were okay. They were okay. Uh... The defense here, defense was a problem. They could run the football, but they couldn't actually stop the run, and that's a bit of an issue. So, uh, number 111 in rushing success right there, number 84 in PPA per drive. Uh, they're not good. I mean, it's not not being able to stop the run is not good when you play against Arizona State, USC, Utah, etc., because those teams are going to run the football, and they're going to run a lot. Um no players are back that reach 200 snaps on the defensive line. That's not good, so not a lot of experience there. Linebacker looks stacked thanks to transfers and uh, and Calvert coming back. The secondary depth ain't there. Like, I don't know how this unit improves, and that's kind of an issue. Uh, Chase Cota coming in on the offense is certainly a big deal. Uh, I think he's going to be their number one playmaker. Um, excuse me. Chase Cota transferred. Who was I looking for? They got somebody in, and I didn't put it down. Okay, you can let me know in the comments how's that <laughs> so that we don't, don't waste a bunch of time. Offense is the obvious strength here, looking at the keys. Um, Got to figure out wide receiver and tight end. The biggest thing will be converting more drives inside the opponent 40-yard line, as I was talking about. Defense was a liability last year. Doesn't look like it's improved a lot, especially with number 113 returning production here. I mean, they're only bringing back 48% of their production. Um, and the transfers that are coming in are good. It's just I don't know that there were enough of them to make a huge difference. Uh, is there a next level for Chip Kelly at this point? Like last year, made it to eight and four, made it to a bowl game, ended up not playing in the bowl game. But regardless, uh, you know, is this is this what they are? Uh, it's what I'm curious about. I mean, they missed an opportunity to own LA uh, before USC got their act together. Is it just a pretty good program? Is there more that they want to do with this program? Like I've I've got them nine and three. Um, the win total is eight and a half. I, you know, nine and three, eight and four, somewhere around there. Like that feels about right. I've got them at nine and three with the win over. I've got them beating USC, but I've got a loss to Arizona State, which seems like it'd be fitting, right? Uh, lost to Arizona State, lost to Oregon, lost to Utah. Uh, the non conference, by the way, they got really smart with this non conference. Bowling Green, Alabama State, and South Alabama, exactly what you're supposed to be doing. A few years ago, they were playing all kind of different bunches and, uh, and couldn't win any of them. So, you want to go to bowl games? You want to have good records? Yeah, schedule right. Just letting you know. 
Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.